Today, we'll introduce how to set up a TP-Link EAP via web browser. The setup consists of three steps. Connect the EAP to the network, log into the EAP, and change the default SSID. Step 1. Connect the EAP to the network. First, connect the WAN port of the router to the internet. Then, connect the LAN port of the router to the LAN port of the PoE adapter. Next, connect the PoE port of the PoE adapter to the Ethernet port of the EAP. By default, the EAP can get IP settings automatically from the router. Step 2. Log into the EAP. You can log into the EAP in two ways. Method 1 via wired connection and method 2 via wireless connection. Method 1. Log in to the EAP via wired connection. In this method, you need to log into the router to get the IP address of the EAP first, then you can use that IP address to log in to the EAP. Connect the Ethernet port of your computer to the LAN port of the router. Set the computer to obtain an IP address and DNS server address automatically. Verify if the computer has got IP settings from the router. Find a DHCP server address, which is also the IP address of the router. Launch a web browser and enter the IP address of the router in the address bar. Log into the router. In the DHCP client list, find the IP address of the EAP according to its MAC address, which is printed on the product label at the bottom of the EAP. Enter the IP address of the EAP in the address bar. Enter the username and password to log into the EAP. Method 2. Log into the EAP via wireless connection. To connect your computer to the EAP wirelessly, search the EAP's default SSID. which is printed on the product label at the bottom of the EAP. Click Connect. Verify if the computer has got IP settings from the router. Launch a web browser. For all EAPs, you can enter the IP address of the EAP to log in. The way to find the IP address is the same as shown in login via wired connection, but it's strongly recommended to enter the domain name to log in. Enter the username and password to log into the EAP. Both of them are admin by default. Step 3. Change the default SSID. By default, Anyone can access the wireless network without authentication because the default SSID has no password. For security purpose, we recommend you to change the default SSID. The first time you log into the EAP, set up a new username and password. If your EAP has dual bands, choose 2.4 GHz or 5 GHz frequency band to configure. Edit the default SSID. Enter a new SSID. Select a security mode. 
It is recommended to choose WPA-PSK. Customize your own password. You can keep other parameters as default. Click OK and the basic wireless configuration is completed. After that, you can connect your wireless devices to the SSID you have just set up. Enjoy surfing the internet! Thank you.